Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is a little bit unusual, isn't it? A Sunday afternoon. Hope you're all well and uh, inside and nice and warm and maybe even uh, sat with a little uh, red wine next to you. Who knows? Well, here we go, number 391. And I thought today I've uh, I've gone with a blush tile and I've gone with um, a little bit of inking around the edge. Nothing crazy, but just a little bit of something to get us started. So what we're going to be doing today, I've got my regular pen pencil touch on here. I do have my coloured pencils. I'm not going to go over the top with colour, but I've definitely got my uh, my black pencil there. Nice sharp point ready to go. So I've got a little bit more depth going on there. But uh, here we go then. Are we ready? Let's make a start, I reckon. Uh, I'm going to come in with a um, sort of an, an oval-ish shape, not smack bang in the middle, sort of to one side. And of course... This is just a guide so we can rub this out afterwards so it's sort of um, part bubble part oval kind of thing just as a bit of a, a guide to get us going there you go oh Jackie thank you yes that's fine he's sleeping here yeah he, uh, he had quite a, a, a bad little turn the other night and uh, he just worried don't you so we just wanted to check him out and very nicely, the vets uh, managed to get us a, a spot yesterday. So uh, sorry about having to change the time again, but um, it needed doing. So there we go. Okay, there we go. So it's almost like a not quite a fried egg. It's not quite that big, but there you go. And what I want to do is I want five sections around here, ever so lightly. So let's have a look at this. So that'd be sort of um, one so that's a bit too much see just by putting those little marks in it doesn't matter if they're all slightly different it's fine but that gives me one two three four five sections if you find you've got more don't panic about it it's fine oh i wish <laughs> i can't remember last time i had a donut so one of those things isn't it okay here we go then uh regular pen i'm going to come in a little bit more there we go and starting in this middle bit here, I'm going to put myself uh, a bubble in there. See, it's a little bit flatter. And then let's uh, fill that in with ink. Okay, all right. So far, so good. Afternoon, everybody. Let's put a little loop in there. Okay. And then I'm going to work around this way creating these little loops. You see how they seem to go inside each other? Let's do a few on this side as well. And around. And as I get to the top, I can get one there, one there, and I'm gonna finish it with a little bit there as well. Okay. And then working around this shape, I wanna put a little sort of wavy kind of line around it there you go like so um oh rose that's a good point yeah i can uh, i can do that with that stencil if that's what you want it's fine i just know there's a lot of you who are asking about um, how to get started so we thought if we put everything in one pack and then it's all there you don't have to think, all right, what pen and what paper do I use? It's just made life a little bit easier. But yeah, we can do that. Okay, little bubbles on the top there. You notice all slightly different sort of sizes there. And uh, coming on in with these little bubbles. Actually, I might just fill them in. There you go. And, uh, that sorts those out then. Oh, around. I feel like I've missed one there. Let's put one in. That's the kind of thing, isn't it? It's nice to sort of put them in, mix them up when you need to. So far, so good. There you are. All right. So let's just have a quick recap. Look, this is the size that we've started with. We're not in the middle. We've sort of gone to the side a little bit. But um, working on 
Those pets. Oh, hi, Maureen. Yeah, so he's fine. He just had a really nasty sort of a moment the other night. It was uh, quite upsetting for little Benji. But Seth doesn't know anything about it. He just knows he struggles, you know, afterwards. And so we, we got him checked out yesterday. Hi, Lynn. No, it's all right. I keep, keep swapping the times, so there you are. All right. So far, so good. All right. So let's have a look at this section here. Now I'm going to look at each one in between. And what I want to do is imagine, let's see if I can, that it's not going to come from here. It's going to come more pointed. So it's going to sort of miss that first bit off. And it's going to seriously wave. All right. Oh, a serious wobble on that top edge. And then along here, down again. Okay, so you can see it's not filling the whole section, but it's coming in with a bit of a point there. So let's turn on the next one. And again, same sort of thing, so it's gonna come up. You see it's not joining. And again, a serious sort of a wavy kind of shape there. Oh, yeah, Jackie, I think today is the day it had to be done, didn't it? It's uh, Remembrance Sunday and I thought this would be quite a nice one to do. So let's have a look so far, okay? It doesn't matter where you start and stop with this. We want to have them a similar sort of style, but they don't touch there, but a real wobble on the edge. And then down again. And then the last one is going to come up. Again, see, not particularly touching there. And then back in. Let's have a look. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure that um, it's not too wet with my ink there. I think it should be fine, but just be careful. I don't want to remove that pencil. It's okay around the edge. Just be careful if you've gone a little bit thicker. See around that centre bit there. Okay, so that's where we're, we're at there. Okay. Oh, oh, hi Marie. Oh, that's nice. Hope you're okay. So let's have a look around the top edge here. I'm going to sort of come, not quite middle, but from this edge. I'm going to create like another bring it in okay and then let's do another again I'm not going to join the two let's come up here and a bit further around there okay turn it around now this one I am going to join uh, yeah every flower is different you see a complete sort of wavy line there Let's do sort of, I say similar, I'm not trying to have it the same, but let's do um, a bit of a wave there and then bring one in here. Yeah, just sort of a little one up there. I mean, you can keep going as long as you like with it, can't you? You can, you can go as big as you want to go, but I think that's probably about it. I don't want to overdo it. We're only on a small piece of cardstock there okay so i'm coming in with my pencil just for a moment i'm going to put myself a little stem in there again just sort of give it a little bit of a kick out there all right and coming from there i'm going to come up create a little bit of a sort of shape there okay and then on each one of these, I'm going to, well, each shape. Now, I don't, I don't need to do it for all. I'm going to put like a triangle in because this is going to be behind. So let's imagine we've done all the triangles and bring them round here. You see, little triangles. And then at the top there, I'm going to put a little shape in like that. Okay, so I'm just going to come a little bit bigger with that. So what I'm going to do with this edge of the triangle here is pull it down a bit like this. 
Let's look at this next one. So there's my other triangle. Down a bit. And my next triangle. And down a bit. Okay. So if I put that in with pen now. So let's do that bit there. And then this one. I'm going to bring it round a little bit. And then this one. This one, just a slightly different kind of a leaf shape, and then this goes behind, so you're not going to see that much, just going to see this and this. And here, let's have a little line there. Let's have a look. Okay, so if I remove that a little bit there now, so if it's in there. A sort of leaf in the background, okay. So let's bring another one of those in. I'm going to come here this time. So, again, triangles like so on top of each other, and then at the top, there, a little line. So, bring that down. with my pen look. So I'm going to go up here, create that shape, and then that one, and then that one, and then that one. Okay, so I think another one up here, just one more. Oh, thank you Christine. Yeah, he's He's getting old for a little dog, he's 14. See, triangles. So, um, yeah, he's doing really well for his age, bless him. There you are. Same again. And then, yeah, so a couple of little leaves that way. Yeah. And just sort of one coming up here. So, again, I'm going to do a uh, Little line. See, it's going to go up and behind there, so you're not going to see all of it. Unless you want to put a bit at the top. So, triangles again. And then at the top, just imagine a triangle there. And there's my shape. So this time, rather than put those shapes in, I can come straight in with pen. I kind of know what I'm doing now with that, so. Let me go with it. And then along here, look, and then of course up that top edge with those little leafy shapes. Alright, so just to sort of give us a little bit of extra, I'm going to just come in and add in those little bubbles. They're really great, aren't they, to give it a sense of uh, togetherness there. You can add as many as a few of those as you want, but it's kind of nice to have a few in. Okay. So again, I've given that chance just to sort of dry off a little bit. Just make sure that you're not smudging it as you rub out your little lines. And let's get rid of them. Same with that one there. Alright. So that. So now we need a little bit of detail in here. So I'm going to stick with my pen. And the first thing I'm going to do is start with, doesn't matter which. You see where you've got ups and downs, ups and downs. So where it comes down, put a line. Where it comes down, put a line. A line. A line. You see? So we can have a couple more little lines, but make them smaller as you work your way around. You see? And then again, down, down. And you see that I'm following the sort of the shape of the petal there. Gives it a little bit of dimension. 
before we even start. And again. So I'm going to come down, down, down. Again, add some little lines. You don't have to do it on every single one. Just add a little bit as you're working your way around. And the next one. So there's not much going on there, so I'm just going to focus on those ones and add some little extras in. And again, down, down, down. Again, just a few little lines wandering around. Let's have a little look at that. Okay, so. We're going to do similar coming up bank, but I always find it easy to come towards me. So I'm going to work from here and pull a few lines out. I'm not trying to keep them the same size or anything, but working my way around, look, pulling those lines out. See, let's go in a little bit more now. Pulling them out. Again, you don't have to do them all along, you see. And if you find it easier pulling away from you, then that's fine, you can do that. So, however it works for you, that's fine. So we've got quite a few lines in there now, okay. You see how I thicken this up here? I'm gonna do the same on that one as well. Just that bottom edge a little bit, you see? So let's have a little look. So that's we've got so far. So being that we've done this kind of thing on these petals, it stands to reason we're going to work on these as well. But because they're slightly sort of, a, I'll say, narrower, you don't want to take your lines too far in. But you still need some. So, wandering around there, okay? And again, just sort of look for where there's down sections are and that really gives you a, a good indication of where to put those lines. I see here we've got this little gap. I can put some lines coming up there as well but I'm not going to do any up on that bit there. Just on the sections that you can see. So there look, a few there won't hurt. And then of course little lines all around the edge as well. And see they sort of flick towards me, so they get a little bit finer. Let's have a little look at that. You see, they're getting finer as I come out. It's a bit thicker there and thinner there. Look at this one's a really good one, how it gets finer. And that's because as I pull down, oh, as I pull down, I'm not putting as much pressure on. It's a natural sort of thing, so it's not something I'm doing on purpose. It, it just happens that way. Look at this one, down there, definitely one there, okay, and then some little extras around the way. I mean that I've got a piece here, put some in there, okay. So uh, one more to do, that's this one on the top. So not many sort of little uh, peaks and troughs there, is there? or hills and valleys, or so sometimes you just have to make your own. Let's have a little look at that then. Okay, so far so good. So just coming back to my little leafy shapes here, I'm gonna add a little bit of a, sort of a depth there. You see, just adding a little curve, filling it in. Just nice to have something a little bit different and that's sort of putting a little bit of darkness in those little areas before we start. Alright. You ready then? A little bit of shading. Oh, I know Wendy, what do you know what? I bet you're glad that it's done now, aren't you? So you don't mind looking after him because it's sorted. Oh, he's on the mend, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. yeah, they're a bit different, aren't they? Jackie, those leaves, just a little, little bit. So you're ready then? We're going to start, I think, in the middle and we'll work our way out and see where we end up, okay? So, 
starting then. We want a little bit around the middle there. And then on the edge. Now you notice as well, I've got quite a sharp pencil today. And that's because it's quite small here. And we want to make sure that we've got the depth that we want. So coming in with a sharp pencil really helps. So let's torch on it as we're going. So not too, not too much. We want to try and keep some of that highlighted around the middle there. And then again, a little bit around the edge. I'm sort of working in zigzag motions. In and out, you see? Just to give it a little bit of sense there. Okay. So back with pencil and I'm going to go a little bit heavier around this bottom edge. See where we did that thick line? A little bit heavier around there. And then just touch lightly to up around that top section. So more here, less there. And then again, in there. Softening that up. And less there, so you can see the difference. It's a little bit lighter at the top than it is down there. Okay. No, I didn't put a little lines in that. It's all right, I've done that now. So then we went on to the first of the petals. So on the inside, this bit here, it's not a problem. We can come in and put some pencil in. You notice where these lines are? Follow the lines. So if the line's a bit longer, make your shading a bit longer. Ignore the middle bits for now. So if you've got a short line, keep it short, a longer line, a bit longer. So you're getting sort of a different shape going on in the middle there. So same here, look, I've got little lines and then it goes bigger. See, sort of following that pattern round. Same with this one. And then around the top edge, I'm not going to go all around the edge. What I'm going to do is add a little bit where I've added those lines. See, and it just peters off a little bit. Yeah. Like so. And the same look, following the lines and just let it wander off a bit. But I'm not going all the way around that edge. Just little bits, you see, into that one. And there, and of course, just sort of follow it round, follow it round, keep going. So, this is the last petal on that row. With our tortillon, I'm going to soften off. See, I'm going to push it up ever so gently into those lines that I originally sort of sketched in or flicked in. See, keeping it quite sort of dark around that bottom edge, but easing it off as it works its way out. Same there. Nice and gentle as we go around. So, little bits. Okay. So, looking around the edge, again, soften it off. And again, I'm just working in those areas where I've put the pencil. I'm not coming in and trying to fill the whole thing. I want to wear I can. I'm trying to leave a little bit of a highlight into those sections. And I think it works its way out. Just follow it round. Follow it round. 
So you're starting to get sort of uh, folds or light and dark where it looks like the petals are quite thin and there's a lot of light coming off them and got a lot of creases. You kind of get that thing in some poppies, don't you? So let's have a little look at that. Oh, Joe, that sounds nice. Are you going to have it ready for Christmas? We had a new sofa, we ordered it after Christmas a couple of years back. It's kind of nice to get one, isn't it? So back to pencil. And as before, this one's going to be quite dark in here, isn't it? So really going to fill those in. Let's do all of them while we're at it. Really going to fill them in. All right, it's a bit big, you know, I can, I'm not completely going up there because my tortillon is going to do the job there, but that's, I'm going to work with that. All right. And then, um, you see, let's go back in and where we've got the lines. I'm going to put those in. Again, see again, not too many, is it? it sort of uh, eased off a little bit here. They're not as creased up as those in the middle. doing this you've got to be thinking how we're we going to get the shade into the petals at the bottom now because we don't want to completely draw around them because that'll just look like we've drawn around them we need a bit of shade don't we let's put this one in and then we'll sort that out along into those okay so far so good so Looking at this next bit then, let's go in a bit. If we were to go completely around everything, it would just look like we've gone around everything, so we're not gonna do all of it. You see where this one and this one overlap? So in that corner, we are gonna have some to go cover where it overlaps. And then this bit here, I'm gonna pick a section, just this bit look, and leave the rest. And then here, same sort of thing. We've got this coming up here, so let's have a little bit there, maybe a touch there, I'm going to leave the rest. Similar thing, look, that's where it's overlapping that one. And here, let's have a little bit there maybe, and a little bit there. So I'm picking little areas that I'm putting some in, but not putting a load in. See there, look, it's sort of overlapping those, so into there. A little bit there, look, and there. But each time, I'm not sort of picking on the same area, but having just a little bit. See there, look where we've got this one. That kind of overlaps there, doesn't it? Let's have a little look at the whole thing there. So you see, you've got little sections of it. I've not completely gone round. So, tortillon, as before, and you can work on both sections as you go now. Let's solidify that bit there. You see, it comes out a bit. And soften up there. And again, when I say soften it, it doesn't have to be a complete blend to nothing. You can uh, allow a little bit of pencil to sort of stay. We want that little bit of texture at the top there, see? Turn it round to this one. There we go. So, easing it off where I can. Just a little bit there. It's all about it. It's sort of looking, you know, a little bit realistic, but we want to have a little bit of difference in there, don't we? And that's see. See, by leaving some of it not completely blended out and adding a little bit in those areas, it's giving us that sense of depth again, isn't it? It doesn't look like we've just drawn around everything. It's got something going on, hasn't it? And that's the thing about this, isn't it? It's lovely to have a moment and a relax, but you're actually drawing this for yourself. Not that long ago, this was a blank piece of paper or cardstock. 
look in there, the difference it's making. And everybody is going to have something that's slightly different. And that's absolutely fine. I mean, if you want to actually do this in full colour, that's absolutely spot on. You can actually do that. It's not a problem. So, you yeah, see we've got some areas that have shaded, some that have not. Okay, I, I think so, Rose. I think that's what I thought of... Uh, sticking with graphite today we've got the color in the background see look a little bit underneath and then on this one you see where we've got that little bit of uh, blackness i'm going to do this but i'm also going to come and do a little bit on those tips a little bit there and then same sort of here a little bit on those tips Same, see that? Just the tips on there, and then those bits there. And then another one. And there. So just sort of working on those little bits there. There you go. Torch you Yeah, soften it off. Remember, these are sort of in the background, so they don't need to be seriously detailed. It's all about that poppy in the front there. But this needs a little bit of something just to help it out a bit. And then just to work it on. In we go. So just sort of adding little touches along those little leaf shapes. They're just a little bit different, aren't they, is the way you're doing those as well. We've done a lot of leaves. So it's nice to have something a little bit different. All right, let's have a little look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in now my black pencil. This is my regular black pencil. Yeah. Oh, Neil, uh, next tile swap. I know we're sending the tile swap out this week that has happened. And then we're going to do um, the tile swap third Monday of every month. So it'll be, uh, I can't remember now, whatever the third. Is it tomorrow or is it? No, the next week, won't it? Okay, so looking at my little shape here, let's go a little bit bigger. We'll put a post out, honestly, when we're ready. Let's add some black to those edges there. So notice again, I'm not doing all of them, just little bits, okay? So, fill that in. Now, if you wanted to do a colour, you could bring a dark red in here, or you could, uh, you know, bring in a purple or something. But I'm going to sort of stick with that monochrome. You see, I've just added a little bit around there. Where I added that extra to start with, and then same sort of here. But notice, look, I've left a gap. So I'm doing a bit, left a gap. Okay, let's put those in a little bit more prominent as well. You know, once you add a little bit of graphite on there, they tend to you lose their way sometimes. Okay, so that's those, and then. Where we've got these sections here, I'm going to come on in, add a little bit more. There. I'm not going to completely fill it, but you see, sort of a little bit in the middles. Just holding that sort of shape there, making it look even darker than what it already is. Okay. And then this one. So. See, not going completely up, like I did with the graphite. But definitely want it darker in there. Okay. And then some of these lines, see the larger ones? And this is why we, we need a sharp point on our pencils here, because we don't want to completely fill the thing. We just want to have some lines in there okay and same there. 
So working around here, just sort of pick on a couple again. And just sort of the longer ones and bring a little bit down. So not every one, just a few of them. sort of giving it a little bit more depth isn't it so let's do similar here let's pick on a few that we can find in there just make them a little bit darker as we work our way around of course if you were going to color this in you would do this with a darker red once you've colored it around with the, the poppy first getting all that the reds and yellows in and then come back in with this or you could do it with a dark green if you wanted to give it a little bit more shadow so you see where we've got these little shadowy bits as well let's add a little bit in there it's too you see i'm not doing much to it just picking on a little bit where i'd put some of that shadow in little bits oh, see there I didn't put any in well that's okay little bits in there okay and then underneath a little bit there look just follow that shape let's have a look okay so we've got quite a lot of darkness there which is what we want within that section I'm not going to do the leaves because this is the most important thing uh, what I am going to do there, I'm going to bring in a white pencil. Now, usually I'd use my chalk, but being that I've got my pencils out, I'm going to come in with my regular white pencil. Just make sure it's got a, bit of a point on it. And then let's go back in. So looking at this top edge here, you see where I've left some of it? And because I'm on a blush tile, I can sort of see that white going on now. You can use your chalk pencil if you want to. So it will actually bring it out. So just because I'm using regular pencils, I might as well use a bit of that one today. And then where I've got a really dark bit here, I'm going to come in with my white. So look really dark, come in with my white. Darkness. So I'm going to come in with my white. Okay, so a bit there, look. So look there, dark, light, dark, light. So wherever you can, I mean, it doesn't always work. You know, sometimes you might find you have got a bit of graphite around where you want your light, but you know, best you can, try and go the light where you've got the dark. You see? Nice contrast there. And you can see, look, I'm not colouring the whole thing in again. I'm, I'm adding little bits. So, so, a little bit in there. Look. So, it's dark there. Dark there. See, there's a bit of dark. It's just nice to. rose yeah um i do use the hemi paints and i did say to hobby maker that i would be quite happy to show you how to use them so i know they've got a couple of dedicated shows this week coming up where i'm gonna show you how to use them and i think it's nice to have these things and we buy them don't we but if we don't really know how to use them it's they end up in a cupboard so hopefully i'm gonna go and do some techniques and things. So if, you, if you've got your paints and you want to see how I use them, I'm not saying it's right, you use them any way you like, but how I use them, that's, uh, that's happening this week on Hobby Maker. But yeah. Okay, so there we go. I think let's just bring in uh, just a touch of uh, my claret. No, I'm not really... So we already a little bit of red on there, isn't there? So. Okay, just 
just a little bit. And you see where it's really dark? Just a little hint in there. You see the difference that's making just over the top of that black? It's not really sort of seriously doing it. Yeah. Just a little bit around that edge. Around that edge. So I'm just sort of going where it's darker, you see there? And just a little bit. Around there. So you can't really tell that it's red, but it makes a difference over the top. So it's not like colouring in particularly. We've done all the shading, so. Maybe just just a hint, you know, just where the darker bits are. There you go. And there. So just little hints around. Nothing much. I'm not going to go completely crazy with colour because we're keeping it monochrome today. But that's probably enough. So there you go. So looking at our poppy, a little bit more stylized, a little bit different, isn't it? And of course, it's uh, all about remembrance today. So hopefully you think that this one is appropriate, that you can work on it for Sunday. So last thing to do then is a, a little bit of a signature. And there it is, absolutely beautiful. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you will do with yours now. So um, yeah, have a, have a play with this one. I'm glad you like it. Thank you ever so much for spending a little bit of time with me on your Sunday afternoon. And of course, we'll catch up again, hopefully as usual. It might be a different, a slightly, oh, Tuesday. Tuesday, you, uh, it might be a little different time on Tuesday. You're gonna have to bear with me because um, out and about I think so I'll post what time our next tile is going to be so hopefully you've enjoyed this and I will catch you all early next week at some point so have a good one everybody I'll see you soon bye